yeah, the, the time frame, the time crunches is, is one of the hardest parts of it. You know, if, you, if you're not careful, you'll end up buying something just to not pay taxes, which will end up costing you more than just paying the taxes, right? And what's the biggest frustration when it comes to capital gains tax deferral for you, friends, family, clients, or partners? The, the biggest issue with tax deferrals? Yeah, what's your biggest frustration with the capital gains tax deferral? You could be talking about the 1031 exchange. You could be talking about short term versus long term. It could be talking about uh, anything that's just like, hey, ah, that's kind of a pain. Like my, um, what, what's the biggest frustration that comes to mind when it comes to capital gains tax deferral options? I hate that you have to pay taxes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I, you know, I've done a couple 1031 tax exchanges. My, my biggest issue is, um, and one of the reasons I don't do a ton of them and the frustration is the time frame and then the structure of putting them together. I think having someone to help you through that process would make it a lot easier to do it. But yeah, the, the time frame, the time crunches is, is one of the hardest parts of it. You know, if, you, if you're not careful, you'll end up buying something just to not pay taxes, which will end up costing you more than just paying the taxes, right? So those time frames are, are kind of a, a pain. Yeah, we call that the shotgun wedding, right? Where you're getting engaged in 45 days. Do you have any of those friends from college who got like engaged really fast and then they got married really fast? You're like, whoa, slow down. Like that that could be okay, right? And you can just be, it could be happily ever after. But sometimes if you do these rust decisions and you get engaged in 45 days and you get married in 180, you close. Um, and you even even worse right now, and I'm, I'm always very cautious with my clients to say, don't overpay, right? Selling such a high market, don't overpay and double down with more debt. 180 days later, right? Sell high and buy higher. Our parents taught us to sell high and buy low, right? Yep. So making sure that you have a solution, an alternative, you're looking at all your options. This is what we're here at Capital Gains Tax Solutions to help you do. You can go to capitalgainstaxsolutions.com, check out the Deferred Sales Trust and learn why it's like the Netflix to capital gains tax referral and exiting highly appreciated assets versus the old blockbuster way of doing things like the 1031 exchange. <laughs>